All right. So today we're going to be doing a few examples of fractions and decimal busters. We're going to start with fraction busters. So remember that when we are trying to solve for x here, what's really happening with the 3 and the 2 in the fractions? They're dividing. So we need to undo dividing by 2 and 3. And in order to do that, we need to multiply by 2 and 3. So what I like to do is I like to set up my fractions on this side. I'm going to multiply by 3 times 2 over 1. And I like to do it this way just so that I remember to multiply correctly. It's not very pretty, but that's okay. All right, so looking at my first set, which is this one, I have to look and see what's on both the top and the bottom of my fraction. I have a 3 on top and bottom. So this ends up being 2 times x over 1, which is just 2x. So that's taking care of that. Now I'm looking at my second grouping. And I have 2 on both the top and the bottom. So this becomes 3 times x, or 3x, over 1, or just 3x. And then we have this 5 over here, and we have to make sure that we also multiply that. So this is 5 times 3 times 2. 5 times 3 is 15 times 2 is 30. So this new equation becomes 2x plus 3x equals 30. We can combine like terms here to get 5x equals 30. And to get rid of that 5, because we want x alone, we need to divide both sides by 5. x equals 6. Our next example, we have x over 9 plus 2x over 5 equals 3. So I'm going to do that same thing. I need to undo dividing by 9 and 5 by multiplying by 9 and 5, making sure that I multiply everything by 9 and 5. Making sure I also do it to the 3 on the other side. Okay, so looking at my first set here, I have 9 on both the top and the bottom, so this becomes 5x over 1, or just 5x. And then I have 5 on the top and the bottom, so I have 2x times 9, which is going to give me 18x. And then I have my last term on this side, 3 times 9 times 5, and that's going to give me 135. So my new equation is 5x plus 18x equals 135. I can combine like terms here. I have 5x plus 18x, which is going to give me 23x is equal to 135. And then I'm going to divide by 23. And I get x is equal to 135 over 23. Doesn't give me a very nice fraction, or a decimal when I divide it out, so I'm just going to leave it as a fraction, and I can't simplify it all, so there it is. 
All right, so our next example is going to be a decimal buster. And when we do decimal busters, what we really want to do is we want to get rid of these decimals because these are pretty easy to solve if we can do that. Now, I have one decimal that I could get rid of if I just multiplied it by 10. That would give me 3x. But if I multiply 0 0.25 by 10, I would get 2.5x. And I want to make sure that I get rid of them all. Since this decimal goes out to the hundredths place, I want to multiply everything by 100. So what we're really doing is moving our decimal two places. So this becomes 30x equals two places, 25x plus 100. Alright, so then we want to get x alone on one side. I'm going to draw my line. I'm going to subtract 25x because if I subtract from this side, I will end up with a positive x, which is always my goal. So I have my zero pair there. I have 5x equals 100. And if I divide both sides by 5, I get x equals 20. Last one, I have, I will start by looking at all my decimals. This one goes out to the tenths, tenths, hundredths, tenths. Since one of them does go out to the hundredths, we need to multiply everything by a hundred again. So two decimal places, this is going to become 40 x minus 120 equals 15x plus 80. Alright, so getting x alone on one side, I'm going to draw my line, and then I'm going to subtract 15x from both sides. And I get 25x minus 120 equals 80. I'm going to add 120. And get 200. Oops. Goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we'll get rid of that. <laughs> um, I'll get that back again. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, we have 25x equals 200. If we divide both sides by 25, we get x is equal to 8. Alright, so I hope that helps with fraction and decimal busters. I can post a few worksheets for you guys to try as well.